Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're breaking down the differences between Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6E, and the upcoming Wi-Fi 7. So if you're in the market for a new router or just curious about which Wi-Fi standard you should care about, this one's for you. Right now, we have here a set of ASUS routers. We have the ROG GT AX6000, the GT AX11000, and of course, those are both Wi-Fi 6 routers. And we have here the new one from ASUS, the GTBE98, which is a Wi-Fi 7 router. Unfortunately, we don't have any Wi-Fi 6E router in our lineup to show you an example. But let us proceed with this Wi-Fi generation. First up, Wi-Fi 6, this baby came out in 2019. It's a huge upgrade from Wi-Fi 5. The key difference here is the efficiency. Wi-Fi 6 uses the technology called OFDMA that stands for Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access. I know it's a big word, but that means it is that your router can talk to multiple devices at once, cutting down that annoying lag we all hate. Whether you have a smart TV, gaming console, or a bunch of phones and laptops online, Wi-Fi 6 handles them better, reducing congestion, plus it offers faster speeds up to 9.6 gigabit per second. Not that all you'll see in real life, but still, the potential is there. Now Wi-Fi 6E, it's like Wi-Fi 6 but with a twist. The E stands for extended and it's because it opens up a whole new frequency band, the 6 gigahertz band. Think of it in like a highway, an extra lane for a highway. Like for example, before we only have the 2.4 gigahertz lane and of course we have the 5 gigahertz lane and right now we are adding a 6 gigahertz lane for your 6 gigahertz capable devices, an extra lane. And most of your current devices are stuck on those 2.4, 5, which are crowded with Wi-Fi 6E. That new 6 gigahertz bands is like a VIP section. Less interference, lower latency, and even faster speed. Perfect for things like AR, VR, real-time gaming, the catch. You'll need devices that supports 6 GHz to fully enjoy it as well. I believe that devices capable of 6 GHz network is still scarce, but I believe we are getting there, especially with new products coming out. And of course, lastly, try to check out your local laws if they are already approved for your 6 GHz network. Because here in the Philippines, only a portion of the 6 GHz band is already allowed, but not the whole spectrum. Now let's talk about the future Wi-Fi 7. It's not quite here yet, but when it arrives, it's going to be a game changer. We're talking about speeds up to 46 gigabit per second. Yeah, you heard that right. 46 gigabits per second. But of course, that is still theoretical and will depend on Wi-Fi 7 card that you have on your mobile device or your computer or laptop and their maximum speed. How does it do that? By packing in more data per channel and supporting up to 320 megahertz. That doubles what Wi-Fi 6E offers plus it got something called multi-link operation or MLO which lets devices use multiple bands simultaneously for faster and more stable connection. And it uses 16 by 16 MU MIMO that doubles the spatial streams compared to Wi-Fi 6. Something to keep in mind to fully enjoy the benefits of Wi-Fi 7, you would need a device equipped with Wi-Fi 7 card as well. While Wi-Fi 7 routers are designed to support devices with earlier Wi-Fi standards like Wi-Fi 5 or Wi-Fi 6 cards, you won't get the maximum performance benefits for that one such as faster speeds, lower latency, and improved efficiency that Wi-Fi 7 offers. Unless your device is also equipped with Wi-Fi 7 compatible adapter. If your device has only a Wi-Fi 6 card, it will be able to connect to Wi-Fi 7 router as well, but the experience will be limited to the capabilities of your Wi-Fi 6 card adapter. I know many of you are excited to get their hands on on this Wi-Fi 7 router, but we'll have to wait a little longer for ASUS is still working on securing an NTC approval for the 6 GHz network on this kind of router. That is here in the Philippines. I'm not sure if the other country or other region. So quick recap, Wi-Fi 6 is all about better efficiency. Wi-Fi 6E opens up the 6 gigahertz band for even less congestion. And Wi-Fi 7, well, it's gonna blow your mind with insane speeds and crazy low latency. So if you're buying a router today, 
Wi-Fi 6 is still great for most people, especially if you've got a lot of devices. But if you're future-proofing or just love to have uh, the latest tech, Wi-Fi 6 is worth it. And Wi-Fi 7, that's gonna be for the power users if you have a ton of devices and you want a really low latency and great experience with your Wi-Fi network. So which one are you going for? Let me know in the comment section or if you have comment suggestion, leave a comment down below or message me at JK Chavez on FB. And guys, honestly, this one is already great. This one is even better. So if you have extra money to spare, yes, definitely get this one for in the future, of course, devices will be upgraded to Wi-Fi 7 so you'll be able to enjoy the full benefits of this one especially if in a crowded environment Wi-Fi 6 an additional lane for your devices it will be great so I think that will be all for now guys and ASUS thank you for uh, sending us these products to test and review and guys thanks for watching have a great day stay safe and bye